Well, hello, Canadian Campaholic here, coming to you from a very peaceful Pinery Provincial Park. It is late November now, uh, hence the white stuff that you see behind me. Um, I know we haven't posted anything on the channel for a while, um, but as we're here for three nights, I thought we would share a little bit about our trip. Um, it is a little bit risky with the temperatures the way they can be this time of year and with the weather, but we've picked a pretty good weekend. Temperatures are supposed to be getting up to around 10 degrees or about 50 Fahrenheit in the afternoon. We'll dip below freezing a little bit overnight, but we've got lots of propane, electric heaters, and uh, we're all set for a great three days. So uh, come along with us and enjoy the journey, and we'll share some of our experiences over the next few days. So Ellie, what are you doing? Watch out for the mud. And the slippery don't fall. You gonna make a snowball? Oh, good job. <laughs> so first evening at camp, cooking on the barbecue and on the nap the stove, just doing some steaks on the barbecue and some Lipton sidekicks or Nor sidekicks, whoever makes them, I don't know. One of the few disadvantages of winter camping is how early it gets dark. It's uh, about 5 o'clock, 5, 5.30, and look how dark it is already. But uh, we don't have a fire going yet. We'll get supper underway and then I'll start a bit of a fire. Probably going to go down to about minus 2 Celsius tonight, so that's about, I don't know, 31, 30 Fahrenheit, somewhere around there. Only two or three other trailers in here. You can hear the geese in the background. But looking forward to a nice cozy night in the rig. Propane furnace is running nicely. Got an electric as a backup. We will see you at the fire in a little bit. Just a small fire on our first evening. And again, it's like, it's only like 6.30. I wouldn't normally have a fire going this early, but it's getting down to about three degrees already Celsius. So I don't know how long I'll stay out. When you join us uh, tomorrow on the video, we'll do a little bit of day tripping around the area. Heck, we might even head down and check out the, the beach. But other than the faint roar of trucks in the distance and my two-year-old daughter whining in the trailer. <laughs> uh, it is incredibly peaceful. You know, Pinery, peak of summer, thousand campsites, thousands of people. Probably less than 50 here right now. A bit risky with the temperatures, especially if you don't have a four-season camper, but we lucked out. Now you might be thinking, if you're going to go winter camping, aren't you just going to be stuck in your trailer the whole time? Try not to freeze your keister off? Well no, you can go for a drive and go to the beach on a nice, beautiful, warm day. <laughs> it's freaking freezing! But the good news is, you don't have to pay to park, and you avoid the crowds. All while getting frostbite in your fingers. Oh. Now in the summer months, we would look for beach glass. But that's not too practical today. However, the beach can reveal other treasures during winter camping. New tire for your vehicle. Or perhaps, free lunch. On the way back from Goderidge, we quickly detoured to the historic downtown of Bayfield. Now, we've driven through Bayfield before, but we've never actually seen the downtown, and I was very surprised. This video doesn't do it justice, but it's a lot of very old, 
historic looking buildings and absolutely beautiful little downtown reminds me a lot of um, niagara on the lake lots of stores and outlets all decorated for christmas lots and lots of lights and of course when we filmed this video none of the lights were on yet we had hoped to come back a little bit later but uh, didn't get a chance so bayfield will definitely be on our must-see list And if freezing your butt off at the beach isn't uh, your cup of tea, many of the trails are still available. Some of the trails on the 12 kilometer loop are only accessible by foot, but this is the Cedar Trail. It's near the visitor center, which is open on weekends. A little late in the day, but let's go for a walk. I got good eyes so I can see the stuff that's over there, but I don't see any. Who has a good throw here? Find a rock and throw it in there. So it's about 10 o'clock at night, the end of our first uh, full day here at Pinery Provincial Park. We took a little bit of a drive around Grand Bend to look at some Christmas lights. Um, I don't think the camera would pick it up, but it is an absolutely crystal clear night. I have never seen so many stars in all my years of camping. But it's going to get chilly tonight. It'll go down to about minus 4 Celsius. So we'll definitely be taking advantage of the propane heater as well as the electric. But as we have a travel trailer, we will be very cozy. There's a uh, of folks here that showed up with a tent trailer pop-up camper Whew, they're brave it can be done but uh, we'll definitely be more cozy in the rig we're just letting these uh, embers die down and then we'll retire for a nice cozy sleep and see what tomorrow has in store on our second day of camping we decided to check out the new green bucks country christmas store now, the Green Bucks main store is basically an overpriced dollar store in Grand Bend, but this is one dedicated to just Christmas. And if you're a holiday season fanatic, this is definitely a place worth checking out if you're going to do some winter camping at the Pinery. Campfire number three. Our last night here at the Pinery for our last trip of the 2022 camping season. Uh, not a bad trip. Always a bit of a gamble when you take these trips this late in the season. Um, we didn't get a chance to go back to... Oh my goodness, what the heck's the name of the town? Bayfield, that's it. <laughs> really wanted to check out the downtown after our little impromptu stop-in yesterday. Um, but just today's events didn't really allow for that. So, a bit windy. Clear night again tonight. Quite a few stars. But it's supposed to start raining in the morning and uh, be pretty wet tomorrow, which is going to make packing up and uh, departure day a little bit interesting. I'm not sure how much is going to be on the channel over the winter months, as I said earlier. Um, we winterized the plumbing on the camper because the temperatures were going below zero at night. We de-winterized so that we could use the plumbing on this trip. So we'll have to re-winterize um, fairly soon because the temperatures at night are going to routinely be dropping below zero. Then it's a case of parking the trailer back on the lawn so we have access to the garage over the winter. And then just routine winter maintenance until we kick off uh, the season next year. So um, only about five trips on the books this year, which is kind of low for us. But all things considered in recent history, finances and whatnot, that's not too bad. So A wet, dreary departure day. Only one or two people still left. Nearly yeah, everybody that was here last night is cleared out. Pretty soon this area will be full of snow. It'll be bitter cold over the dark days of winter and the long winter hiatus as we wait for, in our case, April, but for many others, May for the 2023 camping season. 
It is fitting that it is wet and cold. We're just finishing up our prep. And then in a few moments, we'll get the vehicle hooked up. We'll dump the holding tanks and make the long drive home. As melancholy and as bittersweet as this is, I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we took the chance. And I'm glad you joined us over this past season. We'll post a few things to the channel over the winter just to stay in touch. But I wish you all the best. Let's look forward to the 2023 camping season.